Unlock the thrill of dog agility training. Embark on a thrilling journey with your furry friend as you delve into the world of dog agility. Whether you've witnessed the excitement on television or are simply eager to engage in a dynamic challenge with your canine companion, agility training is a rewarding venture that goes beyond physical exercise. What is dog agility? Dog agility is a dynamic, timed obstacle course that demands collaboration between a dog and its handler. The course typically features around 15 obstacles, ranging from tunnels and jumps to weave poles and ramps, all to be navigated by the dog in a specific sequence. Benefits of introducing your dog to agility Teaching your dog agility comes with a myriad of advantages that extend beyond the realm of physical activity. Excellent exercise The combination of running, jumping, climbing, and weaving at a brisk pace ensures that your dog receives a comprehensive workout. This aspect is especially beneficial for high-energy dogs that thrive on vigorous physical activity, cognitive stimulation, agility serves as a mental workout for your dog, addressing their need for intellectual stimulation. This engagement helps ward off boredom, reducing the likelihood of destructive behaviors that may arise from a lack of mental challenges. Behavior reinforcement, agility training reinforces good behavior by fostering a strong connection between you and your dog. As your dog learns to respond to your commands to navigate the course correctly, their attention and obedience to commands are heightened, bond strengthening, many agility enthusiasts highlight the enhanced bond they share with their dogs as a result of training together. The collaborative nature of agility fosters teamwork and deepens the connection between you and your canine companion. Is agility right for your dog? Agility is a fantastic activity for a wide range of dogs, but it's crucial to assess your furry friend's suitability before diving into this dynamic endeavor. Here's a guide to help you determine if your dog is a good fit for agility training. Health considerations. Suitable for healthy, adult dogs. Agility is generally suitable for healthy, adult dogs. However, it's not recommended for dogs that have recently been injured or elderly dogs with health issues. Gradual introduction for puppies. If you have a puppy, it's advisable to start agility training gradually. Consider completing a full course only when your pup reaches the age of 12 to 18 months. This allows for proper physical development, adaptations for joint issues, considerate modifications, dogs with joint issues, such as arthritis or breeds prone to back injuries, e.g., dachshunds and basset hounds, may need modifications. Elements like jumps may need to be adapted or removed to ensure the safety and well-being of these dogs. Behavioral challenges, nervous or anxious dogs, agility can be beneficial for dogs with nervous or anxious tendencies. The structured and repetitive nature of agility courses helps these dogs build confidence by providing a predictable environment. High-energy working dogs, working breeds with abundant energy often find agility to be both a physical and mental challenge. This engaging activity serves as an excellent outlet for their energy, contributing to a more balanced and contented canine, improving focus, dogs lacking focus. For dogs that struggle to maintain focus, whether at home or in a training class, agility courses can be a game-changer. The dynamic nature of the sport requires concentration, helping these fidgety dogs channel their energy and develop better focus. Embarking on the agility journey, is it suitable for you? Engaging in dog agility is not just about your canine companion, it's also about ensuring an enjoyable and fulfilling experience for yourself. Consider the following factors to determine if agility is the right fit for both you and your dog, assess your fitness level, agility's fast-paced nature, agility can be fast and intense, demanding physical strength, agility, and balance from both you and your dog. If you lack a solid fitness baseline, it's advisable to establish a routine of training exercises for yourself. Strengthening your body will enable you to support your dog effectively throughout the course, take it slow, recognize the importance of progressing at a pace that aligns with your comfort level. Starting slowly allows you to build confidence before tackling a full agility course with your pup, preparing yourself for agility training, establish basic obedience, before delving into agility, ensure your dog has a solid foundation in basic obedience. Positive reinforcement techniques, including commands like sit, stay, and come, are essential. Mastering the stay command is particularly crucial for specific agility obstacles, such as the teeter board, improve attention span, the agility course may present various distractions, from other dogs to loud noises, and exciting obstacles. Strengthen your dog's attention span by practicing commands like watch me or look at me in different environments. Familiarize your dog with different movements. Before introducing your dog to actual agility obstacles, acclimate them to various movements. Train your dog to walk backward, place paws in specific spots, step on objects, climb over obstacles, and crawl through designated spaces. 
Additionally, teach tight turns, directional movements, and distance control by tossing treats in the desired direction, exploring agility at home with your dog, before venturing into a formal agility class, introducing agility training at home can be a rewarding experience for both you and your furry friend. Here's a comprehensive guide on creating homemade agility obstacles and teaching your dog the basics. Jumps, consult your vet, before incorporating jumps into your dog's training, consult your vet to ensure it's suitable for your dog's breed and health. Some breeds, like dachshunds and basset hounds, may be prone to back problems, making jumping less advisable. DIY Jump Setup Once you have approval from your vet, create a simple jump by placing a piece of plywood on top of a few books. Ensure that the setup is stable, reducing the risk of injury if your dog knocks it over. Gradual increase in height, begin with a low height, approximately 1 to 2 inches off the ground for larger breeds, and consider starting with the board on the ground for smaller breeds. Progressively increase the jump height as your dog becomes more comfortable. Tire jump, recycled materials, repurpose an old bike tire or a hula hoop ring for the tire jump. Ensure the size is suitable for your dog to pass through comfortably, guided introduction, initially, hold the tire steady while your dog walks through it. Gradually elevate the height and, if possible, suspend it from a tree branch to simulate a more challenging obstacle. Dog walk, improvise with everyday items, create a dog walk using a picnic bench with ramps at either end. Place pieces of wood to mimic ramps, gradual introduction, some dogs may be hesitant to climb onto the dog walk. Start by introducing the end section first. Lift your dog and place them a short distance from the end, allowing them to take a few steps down. Gradually build confidence until your dog is comfortable traversing the entire obstacle. Enhancing your dog's agility skills can be a thrilling adventure, and you don't need a professional setup to get started. Here's a guide on crafting homemade agility obstacles to engage your canine companion. Tunnel, affordable options. Purchase a children's plastic tunnel from a department store at a reasonable cost. Alternatively, create a makeshift tunnel by draping sheets over chairs. Introducing the tunnel. If your dog is hesitant about entering the tunnel, avoid forcing them. Instead, entice them with treats or poke your head through from the other side. Calling to them. Patience is key to building confidence. Weave poles, DIY weave poles, craft weave poles using ski poles or PVC pipes pushed into the ground. Begin with the poles spaced widely apart. Training approach. Walk through the poles with your dog on a leash to familiarize them with the weaving motion. Gradually lure your dog through the poles, adjusting the spacing as they become more comfortable. Prioritize flexibility and take it slow to prevent any potential harm. Teeter board, building confidence. Start with low-moving objects like a skateboard, toy wagon, or a wobble board to acclimate your dog to shifting surfaces. Reward any interest, paw placement, and eventually balancing on top. Creating a teeter board, craft your teeter board using a long piece of wood on top of a pipe. Progress slowly, using treats, to lure your dog and praising them for small steps onto the board. Gradually increase the challenge, rewarding your dog when they reach the center and the teeter starts to shift. Consider using thicker pipes as your dog becomes comfortable with the movement. Exploring agility classes, enrolling in agility classes. If your dog enjoys agility, consider enrolling them in classes to refine their skills. AKC clubs often offer agility classes, providing a structured environment for learning, agility course test, progress to the agility course test, an entry-level agility event, to gauge your dog's interest and abilities before considering more serious competition, USDAA Directory, explore the United States Dog Agility Association, USDAA, Directory for Agility Groups in your state, offering additional opportunities for training and camaraderie, in conclusion, unlocking the thrill of dog. Agility training not only provides your furry friend with an excellent physical workout but also fosters cognitive stimulation, reinforces good behavior, and strengthens the bond between you and your canine companion. However, it's essential to assess your dog's suitability for agility, considering health considerations, adaptations for joint issues, and behavioral challenges. Remember that agility is a fantastic activity for a wide range of dogs, but a gradual introduction is necessary, especially for puppies and dogs with specific health issues. Modifications may be needed for dogs with joint problems, and the structured nature of agility can benefit nervous or anxious dogs by providing a predictable environment. For both you and your dog, embarking on the agility journey requires a thoughtful assessment of your fitness level. Agility demands physical strength, agility, and balance from both partners, so establishing a fitness routine for yourself is advisable. 
Taking it slow and progressing at a comfortable pace allows you to build confidence before tackling a full agility course with your pup. Preparing for agility training involves establishing basic obedience, improving your dog's attention span, and familiarizing them with different movements. Introducing agility at home with homemade obstacles is a rewarding experience, providing a foundation for more formal classes. The guide on jumps, tire jumps, dog walks, tunnels, weave poles, and teeter boards offers practical tips for creating a safe and enjoyable agility setup at home. In summary, dog agility training is a dynamic and rewarding journey that enhances physical and mental well-being for both you and your canine companion. Embrace the adventure, strengthen your bond, and enjoy the thrill of agility together.